All right, guys, we have the 45th hired request for 2015 up today. Hall and Oates, Wait for Me. Classic rock song from the 80s. One that I certainly, uh, certainly brings back memories for me. <laughs> well, let's hear the beginning of this here. And oh. so forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song as well as his thousands and thousands of other lessons are on my website. WebPianoTeacher.com works on all mobile devices. Use Google Chrome for best results. Uh, check me out on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for WebPianoTeacher.com. See what I'm up to. Uh, what's coming up on the website. <clears throat> If you're new to my style of teaching, I recommend those 50 basic piano lessons on my website that show you how to read what I'm doing here, how to read my notation, my system uh, with the chords and everything, and just get you used to playing by ear. Uh, so this website is truly a site designed to help you learn to play by ear and to enjoy and play the songs that you love quickly. <clears throat> There's more, to, more than one way to learn, right? So, um, if you have trouble with note reading or just are sick of it, then <laughs> try my way. See if you like it. Um, here we go. We're going to start with an E flat major seven chord, G B flat D in the right hand, left hand on an E flat. Now we're going to go eight times in the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I want you to notice. Um, that I'm not using the pedal, I'm not playing it this way. Space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put space in between. So you can't hold the pedal on this. You, you want to hold your left hand so that you have a sustained bass. And you want to vamp the left hand. That is, you play the E flat at the beginning, but you can also play the thumb again. Uh, maybe on one, and then on uh, four, and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because those are the offbeats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? If you can't do that yet, just play it one time. That'll work. One, two. Now, the next chord is an F chord, F, A, C. And I'm going to play it with one, two, four. Because I'm going to have to go to G, B, flat, D, and then back to F, A, C. So to work fingering wise, better to go one two four and then one three five. Okay, so the, for fingering sake is why I'm doing one two four. One two three four five six and then bum bum. So these are faster. Well, they're not faster. They're just four five six one one. They're just one time. Now the left hand has E flat and then D and then E flat D. So just follow along with the left hand. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three. Six one one. Okay, again. Then we get here. One two three. So here we have E flat, G, B flat, three times. One two three. Now I didn't write the chord again. This is kind of my shorthand. If it's the same chord and I already wrote it, I just put a vertical line. And it means play the same chord again. So play that chord again, then play it two more times. See the two there? One, two. So it's one, two, three, one, one, two. Why did I do it that way? Because the left hand will change there. We'll look at that in a minute. But after that, we have F, A, C, and then G, B, flat, D. And I'm going to use one, two, four, and one, three, five again, respectively. On that. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, one, one, two. Okay. One, two, three. Fingering-wise, I'm doing one, two, three on that chord. You don't have to do that. That's what I'm doing. Left hand, let's do that. So C on the left hand. I'm following the bass guitar. Because I can't really hear the left hand piano, which is common in um, this type of music. You just can't really hear the left hand on the piano. Follow the bass guitar. Even if it's not what the piano player is playing, it'll sound cool uh, because it'll sound like the album version if you play what the bass guitar does. Okay, so C octave, then a G. 
I'm just going to do a single G there, okay? Not a whole octave. Because that's too, too, it's too much. So I'm just going to do the G with my second finger and then do C octave again and then two D flat octaves. And by the way, if any of the octaves are too hard, you can just reduce it down to a single note. Okay, that's what you want to do. For that second measure. So we have uh, one, two, three, one, two. Again, one, two, three. So I am playing one G. Okay, so let's do all these first two measures. Ready and go. Wait for me. be rushing a little bit. Uh, the next measure I just left up there for you, we teach it on the website, and I teach the whole song of course, uh, the bridge part and the chorus, and we even add some some bigger notes on the chorus to make it sound cool. And it was just a lot of fun doing this one. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll now be working on the 56th high request and have that up in a day or two. Talk to you later.